What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today, I wanna to talk about the financial implications of the semi-truck that Tesla unveiled last month. They already have a growing order backlog. They're receiving a ton of interest from some of the world's largest trucking operators. They made a huge splash in the trucking industry with this product. The range was far greater than anticipated. They can even recharge the entire thing in 30 minutes with something called a mega charger. Just a ton of amazing stuff. I made a video breaking down the unveil event with a lot more of the stats and details on the truck if you wanna check that out. But in this episode, I wanna kinda of gauge how the order backlog is trending, whether it's up to my expectations or not. So let's get right into it. There's a guy on Tesla Reddit. If you're not on Tesla Reddit every day, but you're a Tesla fan, you know, get on Tesla Reddit. One of the contributors has this post going where he keeps a Google Doc spreadsheet of all the running Tesla semi-truck orders. He has counted 26 publicly announced orders for a total of 332 trucks. Now there was initially, if you look at the way these orders have been trending, there was a big spike in the first week after Tesla announced that the semi-truck was available. It kind of flatlined. And now we've started to see bigger and bigger orders orders start to come in for the semi truck. In fact, just a couple days ago, Pepsi announced the largest pre-order ever of 100 Tesla semi trucks. Now, if you'll take a look at this chart, I've mapped out the cumulative total of publicly announced Tesla orders. So you can really get an idea of this kind of slope and then a big jump as companies are starting to place bigger and bigger orders. This started a couple weeks ago when Budweiser announced they were ordering 40 trucks tied for the biggest order that Tesla had announced publicly. Then just the next day, Cisco, one of the largest food distributors in the entire country announced they were ordering 50 trucks. And then, like I said, now Pepsi has announced an order for 100 Tesla trucks. Frankly, this backlog of 332 units is actually quite below my initial expectations. I thought they were gonna get up to a few thousand units of the Tesla semi truck almost right away. And now that I'm thinking about it, there was a huge flaw in my logic and understanding here. This isn't a consumer car at all. And the market is a lot more consolidated with a lot more big buyers operating massive fleets. Although Pepsi ordered 100 trucks, which sounds like a lot, Pepsi actually operates a fleet of over 10,000 trucks. You know, that's just to put things in perspective of how big this market is and how small these initial orders are. So why are we seeing such small orders if these companies are operating such massive trucking fleets? I think this is just kind of how trucking operators work. Tesla's truck is such a new technology. You know, it's electric. It's going to have an entirely new charging infrastructure. It's from a company that's never even sold the truck before. So I think there's a lot of skepticism among these trucking operators if the unit economics and the promises of performance and durability and reliability that Tesla has said in its unveiling event will actually come to fruition. And if the unit economics work, then we're gonna see much, much bigger follow-on orders when they start to switch a huge portion of their fleet to the Tesla semi-truck. Then I had one last point, which was kind of thinking, okay, Tesla is notoriously production constrained. With the Model 3, for instance, they have a backlog that is almost a year long, maybe more. People are already getting the car today and driving it around, but if you ordered one, you wouldn't actually be able to drive it for a year. So I think the semi-truck may be going through a similar phenomena and we may be getting some sort of trucking operator FOMO. Basically this fear of missing out where trucking operators are worried that the backlog is gonna get so big for these semi trucks so fast that they won't actually be able to get it. And by the time they realize that the unit economics are provable and that they do wanna market their customers, they're delivering things green sustainably on these electrically powered trucks, the backlog is gonna be so long that they're not gonna be able to order them and their competition will have a first mover advantage. Uh, you know, I don't know how the backlog is gonna shape up from here, but I wouldn't be surprised to start seeing bigger and bigger orders. Here I've just put up all the logos of the different Tesla semi truck customers, you know, Walmart, JB Hunt, Pepsi, Cisco, Budweiser, Ryder, Loblaws, DHL, you know, these are massive trucking operators. All of them have placed orders for the Tesla semi truck. I just think this is great news. Here you can see I've arranged the Tesla pre orders in order of the biggest ones uh, Pepsi, by far the biggest, Cisco, uh, Budweiser, JB Hunt, Loblaws. It's going to be really interesting to see how this list changes going forward. You know, so although this 332 unit number sounds kind of small, who knows how many orders have been have been placed privately. I'm hoping that when Tesla announces their Q4 earnings early in 2018, they're gonna provide a lot more color on what the real backlog of the semi-truck is. So now I'm thinking, who will be next to order the semi-truck? That's right, Amazon Prime. Since Tesla announced that they were gonna put out a semi-truck, the first customer that came to mind is Amazon. Amazon is already a huge investor in renewable energy to power their warehouses and their AWS infrastructure. You know, the company clearly wants to go green. More and more consumers are buying things online. And that's another fascinating angle of why I love the Tesla semi-truck. This is a bet on e-commerce. You know, Tesla now has leverage to you being lazy and sitting on your couch and clicking a button to buy things instead of going to the store. And the, the biggest online retailer is Amazon. If Walmart starts telling everybody that they're delivering things 
sustainably on a Tesla semi truck, that's going to make Amazon look really bad unless they make the same move. It, maybe Amazon has already ordered a bunch of trucks privately and they're just not announcing it. But I am, I just, I can't wrap my head around a world where if the Tesla semi truck is as good as they say it is and it, they can deliver it, that Amazon will not be one of the biggest customers for this product. Really quick. All right. So let's wrap it up. I projected the unit sales from 2019 to 2022 of the Tesla semi. To put things in perspective, there's about 200,000 class eight semi trucks sold just in the US each year. So I have Tesla scaling, you know, in 2019, I think they're going to have really limited production, only 500 units, then sort of really ramp up to more normalized 5,000 units in 2020. Then we're going to start to see some bigger follow on orders hit in 2021 as the early adopters have proven the unit economics that could spike sales. And then we have a little bit more growth in 2022 to 20,000 units. So in short, I'm assuming that over the next four years, Tesla's able to capture 10% of the US semi truck market. If we extrapolate revenue from that, we're looking at about 90 million in 2019 revenue based on those 500 units, scaling to 900 million in 2020 revenue, 2.7 billion in 2021, and 3.6 billion in 2022. You know, although these are big numbers, uh, you know, really when you think about Tesla, they're not actually that big because the Model 3, for instance, alone, if they can sell 250,000 units a year at an average price point of $50,000 would be 12 and a half billion in incremental revenue. So the Model 3 alone probably was going to dwarf the semi revenue for quite some time. And this could be a total lowball because remember, I'm only assuming they capture 10% of the US market period. They're going to be selling this globally. You know, the global market is probably a couple times bigger than the US market. So, you know, it's easily feasible for Tesla to be selling 50 or 100,000 trucks per year, generating five to 10 billion in incremental revenue from this program. And there could be a whole nother revenue angle in the fact that they're actually gonna be selling energy at a fixed price of seven cents per kilowatt through their mega chargers to these trucking operators. That could be a source of highly profitable revenue as well. I haven't even taken that into account. So I think this is an incredible part of the Tesla bull thesis. This is why it's so hard to value the company on a spreadsheet because Elon Musk just keeps coming out with products that appear to be incredibly disruptive and have billion dollar potential. The semi truck was something that was on nobody's mind a year ago. Now they've unveiled it. They already have a growing order backlog. We are only seeing the tip of the iceberg of Tesla launch itself into the freight and logistics market, which is massive in the world. So I think there's just so much opportunity here long term. Really excited to see how this evolves. I'm going to be watching the Tesla semi truck super closely. If you guys have any news, orders I missed, or ideas about my financial projections, too low, too high, whatever, let me know. This is Hyper Change. I will see you guys next time. Peace.